Michael Wargo, team pilot with Precision Aerobatics and Hobby King, and today we're discussing mixing. It is a very mysterious concept to a lot of people, but it shouldn't be. Mixing is basically just trimming your aircraft for different configurations, trimming it for knife edge flight or something like that. The other thing we're gonna discuss with mixes is that mixing can be applied throughout your uh, airplanes, uh, from jets to warbirds to everything else. Uh, you know, flap elevator mixes are very, very common. You know, if you're, you apply full flaps on a warbird and the plane wants to balloon, you need to automatically mix in a little down elevator. But I'm also going to discuss some kind of more obscure mixes, things that uh, pattern pilots do quite often. Um, and um, 3D pilots will, will do quite often. Um, they're kind of clever mixes to accomplish different goals. And uh, let's kind of take a look at some of them. Um, I'm gonna start with the most basic one, and that is um, trimming it for knife edge. There is an argument, uh, an opposing argument to mixing, which is, you know, if you put your plane on knife edge, uh, you should fly through it. If it requires aileron adjustment or elevator adjustment to keep straight, you need to fly through it. Well, it's, it's an absurd argument because uh, it's the same thing as when you originally made the aircraft, the first thing you do is trim it so it flies level without touching it. And that's the same concept for mixing a knife edge. Uh, planes will have some natural coupling. The precision aerobatics planes are uh, a bit different that way. They're so heavily engineered that they generally don't require any mixing at all when it comes to knife edge flight. But most aircraft will require a little bit of, when you turn on knife edge, it will require a little bit of elevator or aileron adjustment. And that's very important because if you want to come down and fly straight, you know, basically you don't want to fight the aircraft the whole way. So there is a, uh, a function in your radio that is rudder aileron elevator mix. So when you put the plane on knife edge and as it's flying down the runway, if it is pulling towards the gear or it's pulling towards the canopy and not flying straight, you'll apply a, a small percentage of elevator to kick in. So every time you hit the rudder, the elevator will move a little bit. And what happens is it automatically will stay nice and straight. Sometimes it's 3%, as much as 20% I've seen. Um, biplanes are notoriously bad for requiring mixing. Okay, I leave the uh, rudder elevator aileron mix on all the time. The reason I do is because if I'm flying a point roll or a long slow roll, as soon as you get on knife edge, if the mix is off, it's gonna pull in whatever direction so you won't be able to do nice straight point rolls. Um, conversely, if you wanna do a nice flat turn, it will pull in the wrong directions if you don't have the mix engaged. So I like to have the mix on constantly. Now, I'm gonna show this to you, but this is a PA airframe, and if, as you can see, all of them are set to zero. That means the plane flies perfectly without any coupling, and it, when you put it on its knife edge, it'll kind of stay there. Uh, when I do this mix, I keep the mix perpetually on instead of assigning it to a switch, but you can assign it to a switch. That's just one of the mixes that I use. What mixing actually does is it takes two different controls and mixes them at will. There's a, a, let's say for instance, you have a high wing model that when you're flying it, as soon as you add throttle, the, the plane will start to rise. Well, it's very helpful if we put a little down elevator and mix it with the throttle. So as the throttle goes up, the down elevator will mix in just a little bit of down elevator to keep the plane flying level so that you never have to worry about that. Uh, jets, scale models, a lot of them have the same tendencies. And the fact is, if you mix those tendencies out, the plane will always fly nice and straight and level. So when you fly straight and level and you trim your aircraft, mixing for coupling and things like that is exactly the same thing. Okay, this is a throttle elevator mix. This mix is really useful, <clears throat> and of course you can mix the throttle with the rudder if you have uh, upline issues where it wants to pull to the right or left. 
But mixing the throttle with the elevator is very helpful in a lot of ways. Uh, for instance, you can use it when you're flying a jet or a very fast aircraft to be able to make sure when the throttle is really accelerated, the plane doesn't just rise. This, for instance, is a program mix. I'm going to click on that. And I can either make a normal mix so it's linear or a curved mix. In this case, I'm just going to hit normal quickly just to, to show you something. In this mix, all you have to do is pick the control channel, which in this case, they're both inhibited. We're going to select, and I'm going to hit the throttle. So now the throttle is going to control something else. And as you recall, I was discussing a throttle elevator mix. Right here, you can see I've selected the throttle elevator. Uh, you select it like this. You hit the proper uh, selection. And what this is going to do is as I put the throttle up, as I change these percentages to, you know, plus 40, 50, 1, 2, anything minus something, um, as I move the throttle up, it will deflect the elevator proportionally to how I set it. And that is, like I said, if the plane is ballooning as you go to full throttle, that will level it off. There's a lot of other reasons uh, for this particular mix. I like to use a little down elevator on down lines because the airplane tends to want to try and rise out of a straight down line. It tries to fly out a little bit, so I put a little down elevator with zero throttle. And as I put the throttle on again, it normalizes. This is another great mix with throttle elevator, and it is for my pattern shift. Okay, this is my pattern plane, and watch this. It's at zero throttle. See the elevator move a little bit? Well, that is the mix that when I am on a down line and I take throttle off, it puts a little down elevator to keep the line straight. Of course, all airplanes want to basically rise on a down line. It basically wants to fly out, so this little bit of a mix helps keep it nice and straight, just like you're seeing here. And for the record, I have my high rates that I take off and land on, and I remove this down elevator mix because when I go to zero throttle uh, close to landing, I do not want the nose to pitch down. So I make sure when I am on my uh, high rates that I take off and land, that mix does not exist. Okay, this is a very, very common one, and that is mixing some elevator with your flaps. Again, this is a very common mix, and this is, as you can see, uh, mixing some flap and some elevator. <clears throat> At 70% elevator, I have 20% down. Okay, here is the uh, flap elevator mix situation. There's also a, a crow mix on this particular mix for this radio. This is an IX-20. But as you can see, with the flaps at 70%, I have 20% of down elevator. And here's what that kind of looks like. Flight mode two. When the flaps go down, you can see a little bit of down elevator mixed in. And as they go Flight further, three. you see a little more. This mix here is the elevator uh, brake mix. So what happens is when I deflect the elevator, uh, down completely. You might be able to hear the brakes come on. So as I deflect down elevator when I'm on the ground, it will apply the brakes. So as I'm landing, this mix is very valuable because instead of actually having to hit a, the brakes, I put a predetermined amount of braking into the down elevator. So as soon as I push the elevator forward after I'm completely on the ground, then that will apply the brakes. It's a very common mix. For right now, there's this magic mix that people have seen that I use when I'm flying uh, and in my videos. And what it does is it helps the plane tumble and it also provides some really interesting uh, flight characteristics when you're doing elevators and things like that. And I'm gonna demonstrate it to you. And what it is, is uh, basically a, a flap and spoiler on mix. This very special mix is uh, a mix that mixes the elevator with the ailerons, but has the ailerons both pushing up or down with the elevator. So here is mix off, there's only an elevator moving. And when I push this switch on, pull, the elevator and ailerons move together. 
This provides a really interesting uh, ability to, like I said, to tumble and uh, this plane is extremely buoyant. So on some maneuvers, it looks really nice when the plane is just falling and descending in an elevator uh, really quickly. But I'm gonna demonstrate some of the maneuvers and uh, give you a little more idea of what I feel the role of mixing in your models is. This is the monitor section of my radio. And if you'll see when I deflect the elevator, only the elevator goes. When I click this switch, elevator mix on. all the way down, then you'll watch and you see both the right aileron and the left aileron move. Although it shows in opposite directions, technically they're moving in the same direction. They are both moving in the same directions because of a mix. This mix is the elevator flap mix. Now, the reason why both move from elevator flap is when I set the model up, the model was set for flapperons. So that means I set a 70% mix on the upside and downside of the elevator with the switch set to on, elevator mix on on whatever switch you decide to set. And now, every time I deflect the elevator, the right and left ailerons will move up or down 70%. And you can set that to whatever you're comfortable at. That just happens to be how I set it. This particular one is a pretty clever mix that I use that I've, uh, I've shown everyone before. Um, I use this for tumbling and for some special effects maneuvers I'll, I'll show you. And this is a mix between the elevator and the ailerons. They're both moving together. And what that does is on elevators and things like that, it removes a lot of uh, wing area. Uh, it's a really interesting configuration to fly the plane. Um, but it's best for tumbling. Uh, this plane will just tumble inside of itself and it, it accelerates everything and I'll demonstrate it for you. But this is definitely a mix that I turn on and off with a switch. Well here I'm going to activate the mix and then just watch how this thing tumbles. It just wraps up inside itself and it's really cool. And that's because we have the uh, uh, ailerons deflected just like the elevator in the same direction. Now another great benefit of it is watch this thing fall literally almost straight down because you've removed some of the wing area. So instead of being as buoyant as it normally is, it just falls straight down. I really love that effect. You can use a throttle rudder mix in order to be able to keep the motor from pulling the plane to the left it is a uh, common mix there's a lot of ways you can mix things in or out um, with this function and i think it's a really important part of the hobby and understanding how to set your aircraft up this mix program mix one for rudder and ax3 that is the switch that turns off the nose wheel steering when the gear is retracted again it's just another simple helpful mix there are countless mixes like this one where I add a little rudder to the aileron in order to make it turn a little easier. Uh, high wing trainers tend to fight it a little bit. And here's another kind of a clever mix I thought and I mixed a little flaps in with the elevator at a really high rate so that when I was trying to hover and things like that it made it a lot more possible with this plane. I, it really didn't want to stand without flaps. So just being creative with mixes is really helpful. So don't be afraid to use them. And to be honest, this maneuver would almost be impossible to fly well without the uh, uh, rudder elevator mixes and rudder aileron mixes. There are many mixes that you can use. Most are used to correct problems or maybe make the plane do exactly what you want it to do. For the most part, you can almost mix out any problem that the plane is having with flying straight. But also there are mixes like potentially mixing a, a cargo door opening with some elevator or something else to keep the plane flying straight in that configuration. So be creative, use mixing, and you'll be really happy 
that you learn this skill and are utilizing it.